Hello and welcome back to a very rainy M40 motorway. I'm on my way home. I've got quite a way to go. Um, right, Trusted. I think if you're on the Courier Exchange by now, you've heard of Trusted. Trusted is the Courier Exchange's new sister company, let's call it, where they verify all your documents and make sure you're eligible to be on the Courier Exchange. Now, if you remember in a previous video, I mentioned that my insurance was up for renewal and Trusted threatened, well, Trusted emailed me every day for four weeks to tell me, it was around four weeks, it was something like that, to tell me that I needed to update my details ASAP, otherwise my account would be suspended. And on the day that my insurance ran out and was being renewed, I was waiting for my documents to come through and they emailed me saying they had suspended my account. I then drove a couple more hours, did my delivery, logged in and it was still working and I could bid on jobs. Um, so I just forgot about it. And the next day was a weekend. So I had a quick check and I was suspended. But I'd had the documents through the previous day anyway. So I re-uploaded them to Trusted, and within a few hours, I was back on the CX. But, posting that last video, I had a couple of comments from other people that have had issues with Trusted. And I've been in touch with a gentleman who has had a big issue with Trusted and wanted me to just warn you, basically, about what could happen to you, what happened to him, and it's still happening to him, and to basically do everything you can to get things done in advance and untrusted in advance. So, the gentleman I'm speaking of is in his 60s, and he's been driving a HGV since, it's got a class one license, and I think he said it was since 87 or 97. I can't remember now, I should have wrote notes, but I didn't. Um, and you have to renew your HGV medical every five years. Uh, and then you have to, obviously you have um, your DigiCard, which is last for five years. But his HGV entitlement was up for renewal on his driving license and his photo ID on his driving license had ran out. So he had his medical, sent everything off to DBLA Swansea to have his license updated and receive a new license with a new photo, with a new photo on. And on the day that his license ran out, the Courier Exchange trusted, suspended his account. And they suspended his account on the claim that his driving license had expired. Now, after deliberations with the Courier Exchange, well, Trusted, I'm going to keep saying it, mixing them up by accident because of the same company, um, they came back and said, right, you, uh, you, your license is valid because you're not driving a HGV and it, because it's in Swansea, that means it's valid anyway, but your ID is no longer valid, so you can't drive on the Courier Exchange, you are still suspended. So, on, I've only just learned this, I had to Google it, but on your, on your DigiCard that you use in your tachograph when you're HGV driver, it has your photo ID, your name, when the card expires and when it was issued. So his card was issued in 2021 and expires in 2026. Therefore, that is valid ID. But Trusted would not accept that as valid ID and they actually claimed that it expired in 2021 because the person he was speaking to didn't understand one was an issue date and one was an expiry date. They just looked at the first date and said it had expired. And then have now refused to class that as ID. Um, the gentleman in question, he phoned the DVLA and asked the question, can I use it as an ID? 
And they said, of course you can, it is a valid ID. There you go. So he got back to the uh, trusted and they've just said, no, the only other ID you can give us is either your driving license or your passport. <coughs> now, his driving license is still at Swansea. He's not received it back yet and it's been two weeks. He's been suspended. It's been over two weeks now because I spoke to him a few days ago. And he doesn't have a passport because he has no intention of going abroad. He doesn't go on holiday abroad and he's not planning on leaving the country on Euro trips, etc. In the van. So he doesn't have a valid ID apart from his digi card, which they will not accept. So that's left him in the position where he is now over two weeks in of suspension from Trusted, where he cannot use his CX account at all. And when he logs into his CX account, he actually has a notification saying, you can't use this because you've not got a valid ID. Luckily enough, when other people go onto his CX account, they can't see that, they can just see his normal CX account. Um, but he can't be done any jobs and he can't get any work. Luckily enough, he has, custom, he has shippers that phone him direct. He's explained to them what's happening and he's still getting a bit of work. But I asked him how much he was losing, basically, not being able to, on the courier exchange. And it was eight to nine hundred pound a week he's lost over the last two weeks. Because Trusted will not allow your digi card which has a photo ID, your name and all your details on it, to be your identification on their system. So he's losing money hand over fist. He's managing to get some work, but obviously then once he gets to the destination, he can't get a backload, so he's having to do, do dead violet home. So basically, what he wanted me to tell everybody here, and what I'm gonna tell you from my own experience anyway is, when you're trying to, when your insurance is up for renewal, your tax on your vehicle, your MOT for your vehicle, your identification as in your driving license or your HGV entitlement or anything like that, when it's up for renewal, you need to send it off or get that documentation back before the date that it runs out. Otherwise, you will be suspended from the courier exchange and doing any work. Now, that sounds mind-boggling obviously insurance policies and such you do normally get on the day that they uh, if they renew um, if you renew early you can occasionally get them a few days early but with uh, driving licenses and such they send you reminders and then you send them off and if it takes a few weeks it's going to surpass the date where it runs out before you get it back and you will get suspended basically, is how it seems to be. Now, this gentleman that I spoke to also has some connections with bigger companies. He used to work for a HGV company, etc. And <coughs> he knows some other people. So he's heard through the grapevine. Now, I'm not saying this is true. This is just what he's heard. That two of the big shippers on the CX have said they will not upload their details to Trusted, they will leave before they do it. So, I don't think they're going to be made to do it because otherwise a, a lot of work would disappear off the Courier Exchange and I don't think the Courier Exchange could afford that. <coughs> now I seem to have a tickle in my throat which keeps making me cough. Now, I want you to take this as a warning Everybody, every small company, every one-man band is going to have to be trusted, verified to stay on the career exchange. That's what they've said. Obviously, they're going to let the big companies off because otherwise they'll lose a lot of work. But you're going to need to do it. So if you do, when you do, make sure all your documents are renewed in advance. All your insurances. You get your van over MOT early and get your certificate back up etc and make sure that you're on top of it because if you're not you're going to get suspended and a couple of days of suspension can lose you a hell of a lot of money 
and I seriously doubt that Trusted or the CX would give you any sort of compensation for your loss of earnings because they've suspended you. Wrongfully or rightfully, that's their decision, it's their platform. But I wouldn't look at it as a good thing. Quite a lot of people I've spoke to said Trusted will be a great thing because it's going to get rid of all the crap and all the rubbish drivers, all the uninsured, not properly insured drivers. But I've seen people with a hell of a lot of bad feedback who are Trusted Verified who shouldn't even be running still and everybody complains about them and somehow they're still running. It doesn't make any sense uh, to me personally anyway. Um, and I think that's it. Now, I was contacted today by a driver who was on the career exchange, who was in the WhatsApp groups, who has actually decided to stop being a courier because it's not working for him. Which, in these times where it is a lot quieter than expected, I'm not surprised. But I wish you very much good luck in the, your future endeavours, wherever you may do. And uh, I hope the next thing you do works for you. Because the CX, being solely on the CX, I don't think is going to work for a lot of people over the coming months and years. Because I just don't think there's the workload there anymore. Whether it's big, whether it's shippers using pallet companies or just customers lowering their out, out, out work outgoings due to the cost of living and all that. I don't know, but the work doesn't seem to be there at the minute, and I think it will affect a lot of people over the coming months and into next year. So I wish everyone good luck, and please do like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.